Welcome back. After six weeks of testimony, we're inching closer to the highly anticipated closing arguments in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. Law and Crime Network Sierra Gillespie explains what we could expect to see in closings. This is what you've been dreaming of your whole life. You do a closing argument in a huge jury trial like this, and this one's going to be on national TV. All eyes are focused. I mean, if you wanted to be a lawyer, this is what you wanted. Six weeks of testimony will culminate in only four hours of closing arguments, two hours per side. When they sum it up, they have to make sure they focus on the theme of their case ever since they, they stated it in the opening statement. And then also they have to make sure that that they hit all the elements of the defamation claim. They have to pull all of the pictures, the recordings, we've, which we've heard so much. Oh. The testimony. I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. It made contact and shattered. Put that in a cohesive story that the jury can bring with them during deliberation. Closings are expected to be presented for Depp's side by Camille Vasquez and Benjamin Chu. Camille Vasquez uh, definitely is sort of the breakthrough star of the show here. I bet she's the one who's going to address the uh, question of whether Amber Heard was actually abused by Johnny Depp. But ben Chu probably has the overall task of kind of tying the case together. Maybe he'll do the damages part of the case for Johnny Depp. Heard's closing argument is expected to be presented by Elaine Bredehoff and J. Benjamin Rottenborn. Ben Rottenborn will probably take on Johnny Depp, try to assert that he was an abuser. And I think Elaine Bredehoff will probably address the other issues, the experts, the damages, and Amber Heard's counterclaim. Closings are set to be presented on Friday. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.